What is up, guys? Welcome to the new thing we're going to be running alongside um, uh, the Warhammer series. Uh, we're going to be playing Divinity Original Sin. I haven't actually ever played the original Divinity. So, I, 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 I thought to myself, like, I've been, I, I really didn't want to play Total War today. So, I thought I was thinking long and hard, what can I play that, you know falls under the type of games I like and the brand, like the games I'm trying to play a lot. And you know what? Divinity Original Sin. I thought to myself, we're play I'm playing the second one and, you know, why not play the first? Because, you know, the first one is apparently meant to be just as good as, if not slightly, slightly worse than the second game, in the sense that the second game actually built up and made, you know, made the series better instead of, you know, people saying the second game is shit because the second sorry the first game is shit the first game is not bad from what i've been told but i'm looking forward to playing it so i'm actually gonna tab in now and let's uh start the game so we're gonna be playing alone and i'm playing classic so i, I i'm gonna have a lot of fuck ups now today's the part is only gonna be an hour long because again i'm i'm just not in the motivational mo mindset at the moment and I'm trying to make sure I at least stream every day to keep my streams going, you know, say, you know, so, so you guys know that I am playing the games and I'm still enjoying my, I'm, you know, I'm still here. Uh, but I think let's set ourselves up. Uh, I'm going to set my main player up as, well, well, as much as I love the Inquisitor in the uh, second game, it's because for a di the, in this one, he doesn't have the same charm. Uh, I think I'm going to play as a rogue. Yeah, I'm going to play as a rogue. Let's customize Roderick. I'm actually going to leave him as called Roderick, I think. So let's have a look. I mean, if it's an AI, uh, if the AI personality ever takes over him, I want it to be a rascal. These pictures are um, more amusing than anything else. Right, let's get out there. Look, have I got anything that needs a good firing? Uh, let's see what a face we got. <laughs> I was about. Oh, yeah, I want that. I want that beard. Let's go for that beard. Let's, uh, can I... That, oh, yeah, I have to rotate him with that. We've got, like, a good slick back hairstyle. I, I'm assuming that's the slick back, which upsets me. Uh, no, it's too short. We go for that. Yeah, that's a bit too bushy for me. Let's go for. We'll go for that. Why not? Yeah, we'll go for jet black. Let's make sure we got. Oh, you know, we want we want to really have some good underwears. We'll go for this one. You know, you got underwear's a very important thing. So if we've got precise uh, incursion. What's that? So, what's the difference between that and Lacerate? Hmm. They both do the same amount of damage, so I'll keep Weakened instead. And Scarlet. We're going to make you a Ranger. Because I've never really play Rangers. I'm going to make her a Free Spirit. Let's pick a good picture for her. That's a fucking cool picture. We'll go with that. Though, actually, you know, redheads are the best. So, we'll go with... Got any good redhead pictures? Without, the, you know, the really depressing, like, looking... That'll do. Uh, let's give her... Perhaps I can detonate that explosive from a distance. Careful! What could that have... Better to detonate... A whetstone wheel. Now, careful now. That's a trap. We'll go with that one. Uh, yep. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like that face. That'll do. I mean... I mean, there's not much customization when it comes to this one, so let's uh, let's just make someone quickly. Yep. Yeah, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a sec. That's her bow. Oh my god, that's a bad bow. I mean, who the fuck can fire with that? Yeah, she'll be fine. Okay, what underwear? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that one because you know, let's just get off underwear as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got our, we've got the Scarlet as a Ranger and a Roderick. Actually, no, Roderick, that hair is not doing it for me, mate. You know what? That hair will do. We'll go Sean. Well, Sean bean the hair up a little bit. Roderick and Scarlet, a rogue and a ranger. Yep. In the days of old, the sorcerers of Riverlong cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. 
But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave Source Hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever Source appears, Hunters follow. Oh, I. Rise and shine, Master Source Hunters. The cam wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you go in there, Master Source Hunters. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicil. Nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, Hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off in the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If we're to get justice for the counselor, you'll have to keep your wits about you. All May right. the luck of the gods be with you both, source hunters. Huh. I have actually never even seen anything to do with the first game, so I'm very interested in how this is going to go play out. The second game I know quite well. I've played enough hours in it to know, you know, the basic gist. But this is all new to me. Source Hunters and everything. It's it's interesting. Alright. Control works, same as usual. Tab, yep. Got a way shorter bar. I'm not liking that, but... Come on, Scarlet. Let's go fuck up some dickheads. Um, what's this? Oh, shit. Doesn't actually pause again. Okay, so, yeah. Alt still does what I, I was hoping it would do. Which was let me know if there's any loot nearby. Inventory. Pick up everything you pick up is stored here. Sort by... Fuck you. Um... So we've got a smoke grenade, that's already on my bar. Put you there, put you there. What's that? Staff of Magus? I don't have a staff, fuck off. So we'll quick look at you. Again, same with you. Put this shit else there. Flee, we'll keep their staff and mages can get fucked. Uh, right. If I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. So apparently, oh, their connectivity. All oh, right, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say I'm not online, so that would make sense. Uh, right. I actually have no clue where I'm going, so this is gonna be interesting. You know, just exploring everywhere. Oh, there's a waypoint. Let's go grab that. Ooh, backpack. I'm assuming a backpack probably has fuck all in it, but you know. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Bad back. Uh, so it has, yeah, base. Uh, wait. Uh, so base objects in there. Move the cursor and infantry press button free. Select and hold. Notice the object is held separately. Move the cursor. Okay, so. A random portrait, a lab skate, a love grenade, and a rift ogglers. Um, that's weird. Don't like that. Let's uh, let's leave those off for now. What else have we got? A love grenade. Oh no, don't go back. Uh, some candy, a love grenade, and a painting of a landscape, and cheese. 
Uh, we'll leave. We'll, we'll ignore those for now. But there's a rain scroll over here, so let's Is go that take a that. Corpse? What's it doing here alone? What? Did you expect it to have an entourage? Jesus Christ, you're a sassy bitch, aren't you? Juna 21st. Rejoice, for the statues have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly. So before I soar through the sky like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs down to the beach. This should be a small feat for the man that can fly. If this experiment is successful, may the sun the sun shall be my next target. Can you believe this? The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. Well, great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. True enough. History is made by those willing to risk it all. Uh, apparently we now have romantic plus one with her. So what you're saying is I've got a chance. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's abilities. We've got weapon. Oh, wow. You actually have... Okay. This is set up very, very differently to um, the uh, the next game. Uh, the second game. Uh, voice and opinions. Your character can sit in their opinions. Their trait points can result in a stat or ability bonus. It's romantic. Uh, creates lucky charm. Pragmatic increases crafting. Interesting. Very. In I'm actually. I like this. I, I think this has got a lot, a lot more of a rustic charm to it than the second game has. The second game is a is still a re is a really good game, but I like this kind of rustic charm this one's got. Okay, so we're not going that way. I don't like that my daggers are those measly little things. Can hardly tell I'm equipped with weapons, which, you know, I guess is a good thing for a, a rogue. But at the same time, it's upsetting because, you know, it's so small. It looks like we're meant to go this way, so let's get going. So I've got 59 help. She's got 59 help as well. I have a smoke grenade, which I'm assuming I can move through. Horse hunters, how did they find us? Take the stone to the temple. These whelps will be easy to crush. As you say. I do not know what's up with his armor. Or hers, for that matter. Arise, fair dead. Seize upon our enemies. Is she in the rift or something? I don't know if that's a thing, but... The rift goggles. Uh, come over to the Yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I know how battles work. Wait, we, so we start with 8 AP. Oops. I'll move over to there. Hey, right, Scarlet, Ricochet. Oh. Uh, kill, kill that one. My oh come on, Scarlet! Car, oh, fucking hell! Asking a woman to do... No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far. <laughs> as funny as I would find that, I'm going to not do that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh. Hey, don't stab me. Well, very nice, what? mate. Your grave opens to welcome you. Well, their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Those thieves were more than petty criminals. Their leader gave life to the dead. What stone could they have been so keen on taking? Uh, we can't, well, we, we, we can't well turn away from such an odious show of source. Let's investigate the tomb and see what answers it might reveal. Indeed. For all we know, these dark dealing thieves may be involved with Councillor Jake's murder. Independent. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, screen again. Ah, so independent and obedient. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely more of an obedient person. I think that's how I'm going to play this. 
so I'm assuming they didn't leave me any... Okay, they didn't drop me any goodies. A la ancient stone gate. Ooh! Oh, so this was a... Uh, somewhere we could go. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try and find a lockpick. This seems to be broken. Assuming the game wants me to try and learn about it, there could be a lockpick around here somewhere. If I'm lucky. If not, I might just break the bugger open. Wait, can I can I pick these up? Damn it! Yes, I can. Ha! -ha. Give me mine. <laughs> As they say, leave no loot unturned. <laughs> Oh, I'm playing like a proper rogue again. I love rogues. Uh, yeah, I know how to move objects. Oh, sweet. I got lucky. Okay, I'm going to move this before the game stops mo starts moaning at me. Now, we're going to loot everything. Uh, Scarlet, do you want you mind doing me some uh, looting? All right, let's go see what's up here. I'm assuming we're going to get Careful. us up. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. Ah, so you can trip, you can trigger mines. I like how she she moves up and just like you know. Okay, luckily she wasn't close enough for that to her. Uh... She's gonna walk through bones anyway, but that's fine. As soon as we find a pick lock, uh, lock pick. Sorry, oh, yes. As soon as we find a pick lock, we'll off. Oh, Fuck's sake, seriously. A second chest, that's... I searched for a key nearby. Okay, so the game's given me indicate... There it is. An old one, a war wand, and a bone. Wands are a special type of weapon. In addition to the normal damage type, they all have a special skill attached to them. Look at the one skill in the equipment tab of the panel. Okay, so let's have a look what you do. What do you do? Ice shard. Number of uses free. Okay, so it looks like there's stuff that has limited spell uses as well. So I'm assuming that's the like source ones that you can then drain of mag drain of complete power. This seems to be broken. Well done, Roderick. You can use your eyes. You bloody imbecile. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. Gravekeeper Ragequin. Tend to the graves in the antechamber before moving into the inner rooms. To proceed, stand very close to the impressed door and press the button that appears on its right hand side. Okay, that actually will be useful, yes, to help us continue on. Uh, I'm assuming that's some sort of uh, manual that helps me construct stuff. Uh, who smelt it, dealt it. It may take some practice, but once you've got your iron bar out of your iron ore, you can make it even stronger by turning it into steel. That's right. All you need is a forge, an iron bar, and some craftsmanship, of course. Can't learn that from reading a book. Though I'm pretty sure I just did. So, uh, fuck you. Health-wise, we're alright. You know, I'm not worried about his health. Like, you know, I'm not worried about the health being depleted just yet. Again, another chest. And lockpicks. So something tells me I'm only going to get to use these lockpicks lock once. Which, yeah, so the lockpicks are still single use, but we've just found ourselves some leg armor. Uh, oh no, they're not leg armor, they're, uh, yeah, my traveling braces look cooler. Uh, is there any, like, bonuses to them? No, they're literally the exact same, so it's, it's just, just something to sell. Um, oh, I wish there was an auto-sort button. I don't like the fact that it wants me to sort, now. Nah, well, whatever. Let's move on. Yeah, I'm just going to loot everything at this point and, you know, we'll we'll sell it and in the future we'll, uh, you know, well, sorry, in, yeah, in the future we'll sell it and, you know, we'll, we'll probably just keep picking up stuff to sell. You can never know how, you never know how useful anything is in an RPG until after you've, you know, sold it or tried to use it. I can probably say for certain, though, that picking up a chest is not the smartest thing, but... It only weighs 5.51, and I, you know, I can pick up a lot more. So there's not much in the chest, but, you know, it doesn't mean I was going to leave it and not nick it. I mean, I'm a rogue after all. I have to take everything. That's how it works. I've spotted something interesting. Just 
hidden rooms, stuff like that. That's, you know, typical. Our weapons would survive such use for long. That's probably the way of telling you that our fighting that our, yeah, they take durability damage if I'm doing that. A fire resist potion? It's probably a reason for that fire resist, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, press S5, F5 to quick save. Nice one. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna say there's probably a reason for uh, the fire resist. There's loads of fire over there. Probably going to use this rain scroll instead. Ooh, a water barrel. Wait, I don't have enough strength. Fuck you then. Come on. Take it out. Give that to our good. Oh, some more lockpicks. Give me. So got some more gold. Some more fire arrows. Again, we'll. Uh, actually, that's a good point. I'll give you knockdown to them. Uh, I'm taking fully off the bar. I don't think I need it. But I do. I would like all of her arrow types on there. Attack you. Turn off that brazer just so he doesn't decide to start up again. What's that? Ah, fuck it. Whatever it is, we'll take it. I mean, the best thing to do is always just take every. No, do not. Do no, no, no. Turn it off. Do not start shit we don't want. We'll go this way first. The map's saying that this is a dead end, so could be something useful. And an ornate chest. Careful now, that's a trap. Disarm it then, lad. And then pick the lock to this ornate chest. I'm assuming there might be, there could have been a key, but. Eh. The braces aren't the best, but, you know. The game giveth. Uh, was that a fucking key? Oh, piss off. I knew there would probably be a key. I Note to self, loot everything around the chest before you loot the chest. So none of us start with pet pal. Understandable, I guess. This seems to be broken. Very astute there, friend. Oh, there's another set of lot picks. So I'm not like, worried anymore. I'm not going to bother opening that one in my inventory for now. Ah, there's probably a lever for that. Oh, there. We've unlocked that, but let's... Um, there's stuff. I, I didn't go all. I haven't been up here yet, so we'll go quickly check here first. You know, we've got to make sure we clear these rooms nice and fully. You know, fireball scroll. Use fire on poison because it makes it explode. Well, I guess they added the. You know, they gave me the scroll to use, so. You may as well use the shitter, the cheaper of the two, I would assume. And, yeah, this is worth it, because there's a chest here. With a metal temple door key in it. I don't know what that's for, but, you know, could probably be useful. If we had pet pal, I'd talk that little critter, but, you know, we don't. I will be grabbing his pet pal at some point. Uh, probably on the ranger, just makes more sense. I want to hope. I well, actually is executioner is, st is start still. 
Oh god, there's a lot of abilities in this one. Um, no, it doesn't look like it is. Uh, so there could be another ability that does it instead. Hmm. Ah, poison. Uh, place an object over the pit to stop the puddle or cloud it from sp uh, cloud from well, stopping from spreading. Well, this I've spotted. I like how we both spotted together. Look at us. Aren't we awesome? Oh, we both spotted separate things. Well, what's this I've spotted? All right, calm down, love. Fire arrow and a two-handed splitting mall. Well, we've got a lot of shit to sell at this point, which is good. I mean, a lot of stuff to sell is always good. Shh. I think I hear voices downstairs. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. We're source hunters. Aren't we meant to be able to kill them? Ooh, fireball scroll. Give me. I feel uneasy here. I'd better keep my weapon at the ready. Ah, oh, bollocks. I was trying to read that, but... Oh, shit. Wait. Lock it. If the enemy is a concentrate in a small place, you press B to get a top-down view. Okay, yeah. Death is its own deliverance! That would help him, so let's not do that. Um. Disappear. Uh. Do it. Bruh. You suck. I have no interest in delaying my turn. Thank you. Thank you, Roderick. Metric flipping shitty shots. You and I need to talk about your shot, Scarlet, because you need to be doing better. We also need to find something that'll help us rest. Broken. I don't know if they have them in this, uh, but if we can find like a bed scroll that'll help us, like, we can rest using, that would be amazing. Damn it, Scarlet, can you stop walking on shit? That's what I get for setting her as a free spirit. So that chest is already something we've looted, it's upstairs. Doesn't mean there might not be something else around. Nope, okay, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong that time. Let's go stand on the air thing. So, D chain. I had a feeling de de connecting would be. Oh. I thought it was one of those. It opens up and then it stays open doors. Might be. Might be. I mean, easily rectified. Not really a problem. Stuff like this, I'm assuming I need like a high stat in finding stuff to do. But, you know, I, it doesn't seem to, you know, offer itself very readily. One man's trash is another man's trash. So the arrow shafts we can craft, we can combine with tips to make not enough crafting ability. Fuck you then. Well, I'm going to give them all to uh, Scarlet. Sort by type makes the most sense. Yeah, I haven't got anything we can really equip. 
that's very, I don't like that. That's so weird. A rogue with a hood. That actually makes sense. Come on, Scarlet. Let's go. And Roderick and you shall do good. Uh, pull, pull. Yeah, all right. Well, no shit. I know how to do that. I just did it. Fuck you. Don't tell me how to play the game. Oh. I see how you go in there, game. Thanks, game, for telling me how to do it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna ro um, slo uh, throw down a quick. Scarlet, run away. Ah, fuck it. We'll take him. We'll take him at face value. He'll be fine. A living rat dares disturb the slumber of the dead. A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? Uh, I met a trio of strange, cult like figures before the entrance of this tomb. They seem to have a precious stone in their possession. Strange indeed. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution, deceiver. The Bloodstone, deliver it now and I may deign to end you quickly. Bloodstone, I don't know what you mean. I suppose you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you had no lust for the treasure of the dead. Ha! Who are you? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Cecile is mine to preserve. Her traitors are mine to destroy. I'll take my leave then. Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. Oh. You're gonna be like that, are you? Um... I'm not used to this 4 AP cost. It's weird. How many eyes does a bull have? Okay, Scarlet may have a problem. She's getting shot at like a lot. Death never dies, fool. Death in a thousand forms rules all. How that an enemy press the right, 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 right mouse button and examine? Oh, low master ability, yeah. Forgot. I, I didn't actually think this guy was uh, going to stay alive. It's annoying. I mean, the fact I was even able to hit him with one ability was amazing. I'm gonna heal. That seems like the smart thing to do. Press and hold left alt to hide. Okay, yeah, I already knew that. Gonna use that potion though, because right now we need it. Luckily, two pots just pilled pilled up for us. Fighting knife, some gold, and a poison arrow. It's literally the same as what I've got equipped, so it's not actually that important. That two-handed sword though, damn, that's some fucking cool shit. All I can see, though, is something that's extremely sellable for me in the future. Because I, I, I'm, unless I have party members who use it, I don't know if I'm even going to get any. I don't even, I don't know how this works. I'm assuming you get party members, but I just, obviously, I don't know because I haven't played it yet. That was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, let's get a quick, for a quick save down. Uh, you know, just to make sure. 
Okay, so where are we? Okay, so we came out. We entered over the... Okay, so let's... We're going to... We're going to go this way. We're going to backtrack. Yeah, this way is backtracking. Good. We're going to backtrack. Uh, I want to see what, you know, so we we went in there and we could have gone here. So let's. Oh, that was an optional tutorial. Oh. I'm not going to complain. I got loot. So, you know, that's, you know, loot. So what is a shell do? I'm going to eat a shell and find out. Water resistance plus five. Okay, that's just not bad, but, you know, it takes four AP to use it. Not exactly great. Um, look. Look. A wanderer comes my way. Walking the sands upon which this poor shell must suffer. Who are you, Sir Shell? Call me Ishma Shell, son of the sea. An outcast upon these wretched shores. An exiled shell doomed to live under a canopy of arid sky. Not his native tender water. It seems strange that you can talk. Of course I can talk. Don't be silly. There's more tongue to me than heart. Indeed, the surprise should be mine. For I still remember the days when your kind swung from branches and plucked the vermin out of their neighbor's fur. Oh. You don't seem to remember the past very fondly. Time is an indulgent mistress to one who spends happy hours as she passes. But when your existence is one of misery, she becomes a lethargic harpy. Oh, I remember ancient times, for I have lain here since antiquity, when the ruins around us were palaces and the sun-bleached dead merry children. All this I have seen. Alive! Alone! Alas! You said that you were doomed? My fate is a cruel one, I assure you. How many snot noses have held me up against their dirty little ears, only to claim they can hear the ocean? Of course they can hear her, the rats! We are on the very edge of the great aquatic mother, whose embrace I so desperately long for. So it's the sea's embrace you long for? Yes! Yes! I, King of Pearls, ache to repose anew on his coral throne. Hurl me toward the water. Swing me as far as your arm strength gives peace. And treasure long sunk, I will grant thee. I should decide what to do with what you. What do you say, kind knight? Will you return the King of Pearls to the sea so he may yield you long lost treasure? Uh, Kings of Pearls, you say, sounds lucrative. Oh, no, that's not... I want to do that, but I'm gonna try... I, I may be a rogue, but I'm gonna try and be a decent man. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be an upstand, like, a gentlemanly rogue. Um... Oh, yeah, Can is his own reward, and this promise of treasure to boot. Let's throw him into the sea. Agreed. Let's send him home. Liberator! Kind benefactor! Bless me the might of your sea bound. I think the best way to describe how we're going to play this character is we're going to play him as like a... Depending on how the story acts, at the moment he's a gentlemanly rogue who, you know, loves money. But, you know, he's a, he's a kind soul. He'll take it if he can, but, you know, he's not an, he's not an asshole yet. The dude threw up a chest. I'm not gonna complain. He gave me a ring. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna equip that. That that would probably be better on me, given that I'm the one who's normally running into combat head first. As I'm trying to keep her behind, but unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't really help that she's uh so close to me. I don't really see. I don't really see a better uh, thing to uh, make her. Uh, I, I, that doesn't seem to be like a stance that that's better right now. We got a waypoint shrine. Wooden wall. Don't know. What, there's nothing in there. And make sure I give that straight to her. Okay, so that's a, that's obviously the quick travel. This looks way cooler than the first, second one. That cool like portal look to it. Okay, I'm just making sure we're not missing anywhere. You know, I don't want to miss anywhere on the uh, on our uh, little voyage here. 
A branch, which is considered a one-handed weapon. I'm okay, thank you, game. I'll stick to me knives. Hold it right there, orc scum. No one slips past the Legion unchallenged. Calm down, Junius. Doesn't look, look like one of them orcs to me. <laughs> Not a single orc in sight, you know. Just hold your tongue with you, Bibius. Can't be too careful. We are sworn to protect Scythesville. We are here on Source Hunter's business. Here are our orders. So, you're Source Hunters, are you? And how are we supposed to verify that, Trip? We can't read, my friend. So for all we know, those papers say you're a polymorph parrot on the lookout for a two-bedroom birdcage. They don't prove a thing. You know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. I know he reads. He has books large as a house, that one. Yeah, he'll squeeze the truth out of you, one way or another. This is cooperative dialogue allows you to roleplay discussions between the two main characters. Um, the wizard, you say? Sounds good to me. Lead the way. Excuse me, I'm not going to be pushed around by two inebriates. I say we sober them up and quickly too. Stand, fuck it, stand down unless you want me to stand by and let them give you a good thrashing. Wait, is that, oh wait, am I saying that to her? Oh, I don't want to do that. Do me a favor and calm down, would you? Wouldn't want you to get hurt. You'd let these lowly grunts order us around? I thought you had more pride than that. Bollocks. Okay, this is how you win arguments? I am so balls. Like I said, I'm balls. Damn it. Have it your way. You defy the Legion, will you? The punishment for that offense is death. I mean, you two are drunk, so it's not going to really hurt me. Double time. Good that way. Scarlet. Good old bit of ricocheting. And then just, you know, shoot that one. Seven, aid me. Or don't. I mean, not like our life depends on it. Oh, wait. No, no, it does. Eternal silence awaits you. Okay, there we go, Scarlet. Just one more shot. Okay, don't have enough, so I'll, I'll do that. And I'm on the turn. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to shoot me in the back. Ooh, okay, this is getting way too close for comfort. Confound it. So please heal, Roderick. Ooh, bloody hell. Oh, that was bloody close. I didn't like how close that was. Well, there we have it. Two dead legionnaires. Ah, oh, they deserved it, the cretins. I'm not so sure anymore. It was a wicked thing we did. Compassionate and I'm heart... Well, you're the one who started it. I just went for... I followed it through. So, Atlas, uh, you receive a 20 chance to hit when backstab. Okay, yeah, that makes sense for me. And she's compassionate, which gives her... Uh, Critical like chance skill. Okay, so let's level me up first. Well, I need dexterity, but I also need speed. Go for dexterity for now. Um, I'm gonna grab up my. I'm gonna level up my lock picking. Scarlet. 
Um, yeah. Dexterity, and um, we get you some. Po I can't get you any points in bows. We don't need that just yet. We've already got expert marksman for you. Personality, lucky charm, no. Um. Give me some willpower. Nothing but rubbish. Well, you can't expect any. Another piece of trash. I love how aggressive he's been about it now, right? That's not that one. Um. There it is. Cook, uh, crafting and cooking with Mardino. A guide for urban and feral uh, bachelors. Okay, I'm not going to read all that because that's a lot. So we'll just, we'll, we'll just assume that I've read that. Let me give that to her. Uh, same with that and that. Alright. Um, let's keep looking around. This is where we, that, that's where we came out. So yeah, we don't need to worry about looking there. So let's, uh, well, we've got a lot of stuff that we can apparently craft now, which is interesting. So we need to make sure we, I, I'm going to try crafting this t in this, uh, well, playing this one. In the second one, I never really touched crafting. It wasn't really something I was interested in. Ah, it's another water resistance one. Uh, like that. Keep, keep that by way that like started. I'm not, I'm not going to bother picking them up at the moment. They're not really saying I'm too bothered I, and I need too much. Oh, one fire staff. I'll take it. Not really necessary, though. Oh, right, yeah. You know what? As soon as I've got that lockpick, I'm going to get this done. An aged robe. Not as good as what we're wearing, so... Should probably be start being uh, start watching ourselves soon. Ooh. I was gonna say she can pick it up, but yeah, she didn't. She. The ord, the source on his bow is nowhere near as good as the one she just picked up. pick this branch up just so I have one, I guess. Um. Shit, they know it does. Okay, you hit a lot. Um, poison you, I guess? Yeah, I guess. You know, fuck it, I'll use that. Damn it, I can't get around him. Um, stay there, then. Ow. I feel like these legionnaires aren't on our side, so we should really be careful. This is classic after all, so we do need to make sure we play and pay attention. Ow. Do you mind? You obviously don't. So what does this do? Oh, we just heals the target for 10%. Your grave opens to welcome you. Alright, see what the black cultist does. Not much, apparently. 
65 gold, gimme. Shoot ha! I'll shoot him. Roderick, just ch charge and stab him. He doesn't know I'm there, so that's, you know, that's something. There we go. Those orcs had a human commander. How very curious. Who is that joker leading those orcs? Damn traitor. Where are Bibius and Junius? Did they hear the fight? One day, comrade, vengeance will be ours. Well, that guy going to find that guy is probably not going to be good for us. Hail, Source Hunter. Why? I don't think I could ask for a more welcome sight of these cursed bitches. The Legion welcomes you. Why was a human fighting alongside those orcs? Beats me what traitorous madness came over that dog. A man among orcs. It'd be like one of your kind running with a sorcerer. Whatever the cur's incentive to raise swords alongside that murderous lot, let's all hope it was a private grudge. Can you imagine if we had to add a slew of wild-eyed, orc-loving bedlamites to our list of enemies in Sysiel? Ah, tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm not so different from any other soldier you'll meet around these parts. We've all lost more comrades here in Sysiel than most do in an entire military career. What happened here? It's these orcs. Now that they have bees in their bonnets about God only knows, we need every hand we can get. That rat-faced shaman of theirs even went to the trouble of launching a fireball at a ship in the harbor to the west of here. A fireball? How the sails make need help. I'd go myself, but we legionnaires are under strict orders never to abandon our posts. Never know when another one of these little raiders might sidle up the beach. I'll take my leave. Well, uh, I can't give you guys time to go find out. Ooh, a minor healing potion. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Lovely. Sweet. So let's, uh, so, um, so it looks like, um, yeah, no one knows what's going on here. Even, in obviously, including us. Because we have no fucking clue what's going on. All we know is that, obviously, those two legionnaires we killed, we, they, uh, we probably shouldn't have killed. Or at least I don't feel, I think I should have killed them. Because they were, you know, in our way. And I may be a gentlemanly rogue, but even that has limits. So let's see if talking to a different legionnaire adds any conversation. Why? I don't think I could ask for a more welcome sight of these cursed bitches. The legion welcomes me. I'm a proud legionnaire and always will be. But I thought we'd be doing more slashing and less dying when we landed in Sysiel. What happened here? Bloody orcs are at it again. Beats me what on earth they wanted Sysiel. This is their second attack within as many weeks. And their second defeat. That rat-faced shaman of theirs even went to the trouble of launching Oi! This... Okay, so let's just ignore that. Uh, is it, I'm, I'm going to assume there's nothing down there. Just, I'm going to assume it at this point. I'm going to go into I'm going to go into here. What's all this ruckus? Sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. Source hunters have arrived in Sysiel. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Ahu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. I was requested by a cat. So you were, and so you weren't. Behold, there we are. Meet my other half. Hunter? Ha <laughs> ha! No need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and guile, but I assure you my plea is an earnest one. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, let us turn to the matter of Councillor Jake's murder. Please tell me about the murder. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I'd bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. 
Captain Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. Where can I find the scene of the crime? Jake was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sicil proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission should you want to have a peek. A councillor's been murdered, so I assume there are some suspects. So there are. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and wink. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. Thank God a lot else I'd like to discuss. Uh, it may interest you that the orcs we took care of were led by a human. A human, you say? Truly? But that would be like a kitten leading a wolf pack. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts. A shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers, but people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't quite know what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It'd be foolish to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. So what exactly is the trouble you're having with the undead? Ah, the undead. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. The Legion did a good job keeping them at bay, but I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballastery, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. Someone is responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's mane. Well, from what I've seen and heard, this isn't the first time you've had problems with marauding orcs. Unfortunately, that is absolutely correct. The orc siege is yet another hairball stuck in this city's already choking throat, and it shows no signs of abating. We've cordoned off the western beach where most orc activity has been reported. For the nine lives of me, I can't seem to figure what they're doing here. There's nothing of interest along the waterfront, except for a set of caves with an unfavorable reputation. Maybe they're after some pirate's treasure, the fools. <laughs> Do you tell me a bit about this cat trick of yours. Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night. To stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course, it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs. This I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. I'll take my leave. I'm glad we've met Source Hunter. And I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. Once you're there, just take the stairs, but do pay a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Sisium. And with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice, and you the dauntless mouser. Sorcery, sex, undead, orcs. Oh, looks like we have our work cut out for us. At least we won't be bored. 
How about we go see that Aureus chap, I'll who mentioned it. I think first things first, we should uh, loot everything. Now we've got to be careful. I don't know if it'll tell me about it. I don't know if it tells you in this one if you can loot it or not. It does, yes, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, we can take, as long as it's not like red, we can loot everything. How about that burning ship? I thought the old gal's fate was sealed when the arch shaman set his fiery gaze on her sails. Though you managed to rescue her from a watery grave. Closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. I'll take my leave. Ah, so nothing wrong with being a good guy every so often. Or at least doing favors for people for free. Go talk to these guys and see what they're doing as well. You know, while we take everything. Gotta make sure we loot. Yes, yeah, so we'll talk to Louis our first. Home, our livelihood. All sunk in a matter of minutes while we could do nothing but look on. Tell me about yourselves. Well, we were merchants what seems like a moment ago. With our ships sunk, we're a little more than three men with nothing more to say than boo. What happened here? These damn orcs. They can't keep off this place for the life of them. They came in here slinging fireballs and swinging swords. Wasn't a thing we could do to defend ourselves. How about that burning ship? That was a right stunning show of magic you pulled, it was. Wish you'd have been around when our own barge went down in flames. About finding work? With our ship gone, nothing for it but to get a job. Slim pickings around here, that's for sure. Maybe you can keep an eye out, though. I'll take my leave. Have you found us a job yet? We'll take anything. Really? Tell me about yourself. Well, we were merchants. Oh. He's going to say the exact Have same thing. Yeah, they're all going to say the same thing. Fair enough. Ever hear about the time the captain took the Duchess of Fedel's carriage for the joyride? Ha! Now it ain't. He drove it straight to the pub and back. Shores? Here? Inside Seal? Bah! Of all the cursed hunks of rock to land on, Conrad chooses this one. How about that burning ship, eh? That was some fast acting there. Many thanks on behalf of all us seamen. I was quite an attack on the harbour. Who knows if it's even over for sure? Those damn orcs keep sending us these terrible surprises. Let's talk Sauce. to Marv. Here, no. so seal. Don't matter then. He's going to literally say the exact same oh, thing. Good to know. Yeah, we'll just keep grabbing stuff, you know, loot wise. Ooh, Molotov. <laughs> sailor Conrad. Ahoy, sailor! Are you enjoying the fresh winds of Sicil? Tell me about yourself. Name's Conrad. Cargo trader, sea captain, an expert in all things nautical. Folks across Andervale know to give old Conrad a hollow when it comes to rare imports and magical items. What do you think of the attack on the harbor? Those orcs must be out of their barbarous minds launching an attack on a city where a great wizard resides. Though even I must admit they put up a hearty effort. I'll tell you, the only time I'd consider waging a suicide campaign like that would be if whatever I saw was something worth dying over. Psst. Ever hear about the time the captain so, oh god, this guy has a lot of loot. So, let's just no, sell... Sell beer no matter what. Keep the walk, muggle walks. I'm pretty sure water heals you. So all this crap. So what's that? Fire resistance potions. We'll keep. I'll oh, keep the couple. Got a mug and a cup. We'll sell the bones. Keep all of those. I'm not really fond of oil flasks, so I'll sell that. Ooh, I'll keep that sword. That one's really good. Ever hear about the time the captain took the Duchess of Fedel's carriage for the joy ride? So all the books and shit. Oh, now it ain't. He drove it straight to the pub and back. Oh, and don't so 166. 
Uh, star represents the trader's attitude. The higher the attitude, the better the price is. Take my leave. I mean, he doesn't really have anything we want. We're not. Neither of us are magical focused, which is why I'm kind of glad I didn't. Use, I had that rain thing to save the ship. You know, it's always it's always good to say like you know help out as you can, especially if you want you know make yourself. Oh, really? The greatest warriors in Rivalon can't cross a rope. I'm gonna say that's pretty depressing. I want my loot. Fine, I'll get you later. One minute. You're good if I could spell loot correctly. There we go. I'll come back for you later. Oh, hail the rain spirit. That was a fine display of magicianship and fun. Or who knew what he was doing, bringing in a source, didn't he? How about that burning I ship? thought the old gal's fate was sealed when the Ark Shaman set his fiery gaze on her sails. But you managed to rescue her from a watery grave. Closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. Well, I'll take my leave. But thank you for the, uh... Thank you for basically stroking my ego constantly. Alright, um, let's, let's go get this way, uh, waypoint shrine unlocked. So we've got to go up there and that. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to finish expand. I'm going to keep it, uh, exploring uh, the dock before I go into town. You know, because, you know, it makes sense. You know, make sure we do everything down here, then we don't have to worry about coming back here for a while. The shipless sailor, three out of work sailors, Lewis, Max, and Philip mourned the loss of their ship and asked us to help find an employment. A source hunter's journey. Uh, so that one, we, I'm not going to bother reading that. Into the dark, told us there was uh, more orcs to be found on the western beach. A mysterious murderer. Take the ship. Learned that the diary of the dead man jumped off a cliff, believing that some whimsical statue had the grand ability to fly. Fire, 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 we've done. Uh, at least I think we have. Oh, okay, it looks like the ones filled with, like, this means they're done. I don't, you know. Yeah, filter complete. So we won't ever see complete quests in there. Good. Typically, I don't mind filtering out. I don't mind keeping the complete ones open. But sometimes, you know, I just you just can't tell which ones are... You know, when you're new to a game, you can't really tell which ones are new. And that's an Arisha to give that to her. So much crap. It's a good point. We should probably drink that... Uh, glass of water okay, so we now know what they do which is good and knowing what they do is uh, obviously you, means we know what they do in the future so it's whenever we pick up anything I mean if he doesn't class it as thieving I'm taking it that's how I work. Ooh, an ice shard scroll. Now that's an ability that isn't in the second game, as far as I know. So they're, they're weapons. I don't know if you can fish, but if we can't, I'll sell them. Uh, so I don't think I missed any of those. Haven't done these ones yet. Oh, summon air elemental. So we're getting a good list of scrolls uh, nice and early. I'm assuming the game's going to throw something heavy at us if it's throwing, like, if it's giving us, like, all this good stuff really early. Actually, I don't know how good it is, but I'm assuming it's good. While I think about it, I should probably put all grenades on my, um, on here. I'm not gonna worry about the water ones. Uh... Yeah, we've got a lot of different types of arrows already. I like it. Apparently, oh shit, you can loot these fish piles. Let's get them looted then, eh? Right, so the. I'm gonna go check this building out first. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna look around a lot. I can't even smell the sea air. 
That woman complains a lot, doesn't she? Okay, this is a warehouse. Well, it's not going to stop me from going in it. Yeah, I'm assuming it'd be Nick and stuff here. Source hunters, I see. I'm Sergeant Curtius, proud protector of this house of Legion goods. Now, tell me about yourself. Curtius is my name. The Legion is my calling. So what's in the room exactly? This is a storing house for Legion supplies. Perhaps the most important building in the realm, by my and others' estimation. And I, Sergeant Curtius, have been trusted to guard it. Oh, I'll take my leave then. I'm not gonna, there's nothing in here I can take. Uh, I, uh, still nothing, sir. Keep your pleasantries to yourself. What are you doing inside this warehouse, snooping around? Well, tell me about yourself. If it's conversation you're looking for, I'd recommend my comrade Florius, or as I prefer to call him, Loose Lips McGee. As for myself, my job is to protect this warehouse, not chit-chat with intruders. Well, you seem to have strong opinions about Florius. That idiot man-child would sooner spend an hour chaining up a thief than a minute arresting him. I only hope he gets transferred out of this warehouse and straight to the perimeter. Let him rot off a zombie's ear instead of mine. Nah, even thinking of him turns one into a gabbing hen. Please, leave me be. I'll take my leave then. Oh, Florius, dear, I need to talk to you. Because you uh, apparently like talking to people. Well, a source hunter. A very hearty welcome to our humble warehouse. Have a look around. And don't mind if I pick your brain about the scoop around Undervale. I'm behind on my current affairs. Now tell me about yourself. I tell you, this gig sure beats getting my toes bitten off by zombies out in the field. <laughs> we warehouse guards don't have to do much apart from stroll the perimeter a few times an hour. And of course, every now and again, some friendly folks like yourself will wander through here. And nothing beats a pleasant conversation, though my comrade Horatius has quite different opinions on that matter. And what's on Horatius's opinion exactly? Have you talked to him? <laughs> Thinks every man, woman and child who steps foot in this place wants to rob it blind. If I so much as greet a townsperson with a hello instead of a state your purpose, he starts frothing on and on about godly duty and security breaches. Oh, what do you know of current affairs? This Jake business is quite the scandal, no? I myself suspect his wife, Esmeralda, and the butcher seconds that, let me tell you. Then again, and you didn't hear this from me, he's going through quite the nasty divorce himself, and there's his children to consider. But I imagine his youngest, Kimberly, mind, never did get on well with her mother ever since the incident. Oh, it's an unparalleled pleasure having a fresh ear around here. Honor has just called you Loose Lips McGee. What's all that about? That fusspot said what? Well, old Loose Lips will let that lowly backbiter know what he thinks about that. <laughs> Consider me very, very happy with what I just did. So, something you'd like to say to my face? I haven't a thing to say to you. I'm on duty. Duty indeed. Put up your fists. Are you mad? We're guards, not drunks on the street. Enough! What is this, farmers? Back to your post at once! Sir, this is an important matter. A matter of honor. Such matters are to be settled on your own time. Understood? Understood, sir. Such bickering is all that thieves need to sneak by unnoticed. It won't happen again, sir. It better damn well not. I, I could have used that to go in there. I just have no interest in going in there at the moment. I don't. I don't really One feel day, like. Moira. One day you'll show them all. I don't feel like robbing them at this point. It, it sounds like it would be a little bit too much effort. Well, a source hunter. About time the council took us seriously. Maybe you can start with the two idiots hiding their pet orc here. Take my leap. There's a pet orc. Okay. And here is like bringing a wolf to a hen house. Nonsense. Listen. She's purring, <gasps> darling. What fool would trust a two bit love potion out of a back page circular from youthful gore? Ah, who better than a proven orc crusher to convince my dumbbell of a friend here that orcs are predators, not pets? Enough of that. 
I know how dangerous an orc can be, but this one has been reformed. Anyone can see that she's completely docile. But my prejudiced friend here still wants to kill her. Tell me about yourselves. Maybe before the great orc raid we had time to indulge Niniush's idiotic obsessions. But now we're needed at our posts. I can hardly believe I've been wasting time protecting an orc when I should be running them through. Excuse my friend's violent outbursts. He hasn't enjoyed a woman's touch in quite some time now. It makes him a bit... edgy. Your woman's touch is less of a loving caress and more of a claw shanked brutally through the throat. I'll take my chances as a bachelor, thanks. So what's this about a charmed orc? My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls. When who did I see creeping along the shore but this lovely orcish lady? For a brief second, as, well, as long as eternity, we locked eyes. Perhaps confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head, and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamoured. I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army under some kind of duress. A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. Ha! I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? A love potion. Tell me more. Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away for the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as promised. You see what a fool my friend has been, spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting, as printed. Let me tell you what I think. You see? He'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. Yeah, she has to be put down. This love potion, if this if this love potion is as dodgy as it sounds, she could come to be her to be her vicious sense any time. What's the point in causing more pain in this beleaguered city? Question her and see what comes of it. You must realize that if the orcs get loose in this city, and we're the and we're the ones we'll have to put her and we're the ones we'll have to put her down and deal with the bloody aftermath. Don't you want to see whether or not this experiment proves successful? A real working love potion. Think of the possibilities. <laughs> okay, we're, get, we're winning. We're getting somewhere this time. Damn it! This place reeks of orc stench. Damn. <laughs> Damn. We may lose this one. This place reeks of orc stench. Damn it! I hate rock, paper, scissors. Alright, we'll do it your way. Bravo! I trust not only the potion, but my scaly sweetheart in and of herself. You're going to regret this. We're all going to regret this. I agree with you, but, well, I kind of lost out on that one. Um. That's the first questioner, then. No? Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave because no. <laughs> I'm gonna go do something else because uh, that's creepy. <laughs> so, where can we go? Oh, you know what? We've got to we gotta go into the. I, I think the only place we can go at this point is into the uh, town proper now. It's okay with me. Let's get going. Getting a bit annoyed that Scarlet keeps fucking, you know, being right, getting, uh, beating me at goddamn rock paper scissors. They have to shank the bitch. <laughs> You're a source hunter, aren't you? They say you can talk to animals, but I, for one, won't be falling for such a tall tale. You do that, then, love. Okay, so, yeah. So we know one's there. There's a crime scene there. Esmeralda. Legion head. Yes, yeah, so we need to go talk to the captain first. No, it doesn't say what this is. General store closed indefinitely. That's unfortunate. I need, I was in, I'm in need of somewhere to sell random crap and buy some, you know, upgraded gear. But this way is the way we need to go. Pick some Whisperwood up. Say, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Borrow, indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear. Are you in the habit of stealing? I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. Tell me about yourself. Oh, my story's tired by now. I was a happy enough, a prosperous enough before these lean times around Sicil began. Still, that doesn't waive a man's need to eat, you know. This is going to be interesting. So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? I mean, everyone needs a hand now and then. Take the fish, and none of none but us will be the wiser. True enough. Without a bit of charity now and then, the world would be a far crueler place. That's the spirit, or should I say, the soul? Sir, did you just steal that fish? No, no, no I paid for it. The uh, uh, the the merchant just left, but I paid. I, I paid before. Yo. You were a witness to this event now. Tell me what happened. Oh, the man is telling the truth. He paid for the fish, that fish fair and square. Indeed he did not. He's a thief and should be punished. Uh, don't be stuck in the mud. After all, there are plenty more fish in the sea. This fish here landed himself in troubled waters. Don't drag us in too. I feel like we're going to be playing rock, paper, scissors a lot in this playthrough. Hmm. Aha, there we go. So I'm going to go for paper now. And now I'm going to go for rock. Yes. No, no, we'll do as I say, and there's an end to it. I can't thank you enough for your, uh, <clears throat> discretion. <laughs> I'll be going now. Well, sorry to have bothered you then, sir. Carry on. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That thief is free for now. But I wonder how long it'll be until his growling belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. What did you think of that fish thief? I can understand your sympathy for that man. But feeding him for one day will hardly remedy his circumstances. You would have done better to help him more substantially than by covering up a single petty theft. I'll take my leave for now. So, ooh, we've got Fletcher. She, I talk, I talk to this woman. Oh, hello, love. Nice day for a little stroll around the market, isn't it? Let's talk to the Fletcher. Well, what sort of areas do you want? Freezing? Silver? 
poison? Get to the point. Uh. So, okay, you have. Ooh, you have ranger skills, crossbows, a really cool bow as well. Let's actually have a look with you. Can you use that bow? You can. It adds one willpower. Adequate leather arm is better than what we're wearing already. Well, first things first, I don't want to sell anything but that, so we'll sell that quickly. I'll go back to Roderick. Tomatoes. So all this crap. Let's see. Halibut, cheese, um, ooh, a sharp tomatoes. fighting knife is better than what I'm wielding. I haven't had an upgrade yet, so I think it's only fair that I get that. I'm not going to bother buying any armor yet, I don't think. I think we can, we'll probably find some better ones later on. There's no, we can't really, market, as far as I know, we can't really use any of the, can't make any arrowheads. But I'm going to buy that bow. First things first, we'll give myself a sharp fighting knife and we'll give her, you know, this brand new bow. Can you craft? Let's have a look. You can. Ah, you don't have the ability to craft that. So you can craft one of them, but not the other. Understandable. Uh, yeah, my brother, just not worry about talking to you. So we've got a uh, Jerome here. A low proportionate one. Oh, I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great fan of the fine arts, no? Tell me about yourself. I'm a painter by trade, as you can see, but a cartographer at heart. You might think there isn't enough work for one of my talents in a downtrodden city like Sysil, and you'd be quite right. I travel around Andervale, mastering my craft and finding new subjects to add to my litany of lovely portraits and complex maps. Like this rooster I'm working on now, and the landscape that surrounds him. So, ah, he has treasure maps. That's it, my leave. Saw hunters, eh? All right, proper. We're finally getting hand. Things is chaos. If you've got a favourite sheep, best to fry her up now, for she gets thieved in the night like me dear plump ogget. The finest in me herd. Tell me about yourself. Now that the herd's gone, old Birch is just scratching by like a hen till the next batch of beasties comes through. So where's your herd? I recently sold most of the tender loves to a trader heading north. Plenty of business that way these days. Those miners must be preparing for a mighty great feast. Wish I could have a nibble on my dear darlings all ground and spiced. So about your stolen sheep? Yes. Oh, ogre has been missing for more than a fortnight. I love that sheep, you know. Was planning to cook her into a fine midwinter night haggis myself. Do tell me if you hear anything about her. I plan on pursuing whoever stole her with my cleaver in hand. Do you have any work for a trio of sailors? Sorry, can't help you there. Haven't got enough livestock left to warrant a hand with the work. I'll take my leave then. So, champ, sure. Uh, we convinced the guards to let her live. Birds won't okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out about that one later. What's this? Okay, the animal vendor and she doesn't have enough things. Uh, I, can go, I guess we can go talk to the sorceress. Oh, no, noble friend. Your upper chakras are in desperate need of a good scrubbing. Fortunately for you, my homebrew tinctures will do the job. Or if you're in the mood for something a bit more electrifying, one of my air scrolls might give your system just the shock it needs. Okay, so you sell Hydro Fist and Aerofuge. You also sell Lock Picks, you fucking legend. Four foot fucking out. Okay, I can't afford that yet. Yeah, even the uh, thing, I think the one that's even fireball scrolls are in. That uh, scroll scrolls are sorry, they were the most they were. The intelligence potion and the healing potions will do us some good as well. I'll take my leave for now. 
Okay, so, okay, I'm assuming those guys are not really anything interesting. Cheese vendor and a citizen. Yeah, it's not really something we need. Uh, we can deal with at the moment. So Esmeralda's that way, so she's not. The, we want to go further into town. Let's, uh, let's go see what's down here first. Wooden crates we can take from. Anything interesting? Oh, some wooden. Well, let's go open up these door here. Oh yeah, sheep. We can't talk to sheep. I forget. There's a key for something. Reginald spare key. Don't remember who Reginald is. We definitely didn't nick anything there. Oh well. Oh, it's, it's something we can combine shit with. What's this? I found something. Hmm, we need a, uh... I'm going to assume we need a, um... What's it called? A, uh... Someone's House of Healing. Taylon's House of Healing. Let's talk to him. So, which of you is but, if one were to reduce the quantity of skull dust by a percentage of uh, two, hmm? perhaps the stability could be increased by as much as threefold. Oh, a source hunter. <laughs> Imagine that. Quite a bit more petite than the last of your kind I encountered, aren't you? Yes, by nearly... 20 centimeters of tibia, as my memory serves. But, uh, no matter, no matter. But even if it couldn't spare its heartiest specimen, I'm sure the order sent the individual with the next highest probability of success. Tell uh, me about yourself. Me? Why, well, uh, I'm uh, more than a little surprised you haven't heard of me. Perhaps I can jog your memory. It was I who cured the Duchess of Arata of her unslakeable thirst. A simple pinch of a trope of belladonna in her morning tea. I who discovered that aging itself can be halted by a single application of Secuta du Glassi on the tongue. Not to mention that it's been my guidance that has permitted my apprentice Evelyn to make quite a name for herself around Cicel of late. So your apprentice has enjoyed some success? Yes, yes. <clears throat> if that's how we're referring to the secretive use of a revolutionary healing method she refuses to share with her own master, She's in the other room as we speak. Perhaps you can prevail upon her to offer a demonstration. A revolutionary healing method. Can you elaborate? She's gotten a hold of a stone, supposedly capable of fantastic feats of healing, but she won't let me take the briefest look at it. But she claims to have gotten the relic from a little northern town, uh, Silver Glen by name, and that an abbot there blessed it with the power to heal. Utter rubbish, I say. But with these blasted undead haunting the travel routes, I can hardly march up to Silver Glen to learn the truth myself. Let's discuss your apprentice, Evelyn. Well, she certainly possesses a critical eye and an exacting manner when it comes to making difficult medical decisions. I expect she'll be a very successful healer in her own right when the time comes. She is learning from the best, after all. Do you have any work for a trio of sailors? Uh, sorry, but uh, there isn't much work for sailors in a house of medicine. Unless one of them happens to have a secret stash of healing stones. <laughs> Let me ask you about affairs around Sir Certainly. Cecil. What would you like to know? Do you know anything about Jake's murderer? The counsellor. Terrible loss, that. Though we were hardly more than acquaintances, I knew him to be a devoted civil servant. From what I can tell, it seems to be a simple case of jealousy turned violent. The affairs of his wife, Esmeralda, were hardly a secret, you know. And what can you tell me about the Plague of Undead? I've applied myself to that problem for two years and still haven't come a step closer to solving it. I declare it an act of the Almighty's, if I believed in such things. Some events, Source Hunter, can be neither controlled nor understood by mere men. Well, I'll take my leave then, friend. Ashley. So, Interesting oh, indeed. Oh, 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 Nothing sets me on edge like inexplicable magic. To what do I owe the repeated pleasure, Source Hunter? I want to see what you've got for sale. So you've got Durande. I'm so, assuming that's some drugs of some sort, and then you've got loads of potions. Of Come, make your case. 
Uh, yes, everything's stealing. So let's go talk to Evelyn. So, which of you is more deserving of life? Excuse me, this is a private sick room. Who in the name of the seven do you think you are barging in here? Out, I say, right this instant. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this task. I'm just... Who am I to meddle with life and death this way? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see. And two direly wounded men who need it. I've been racking my brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation. But perhaps it's better off in the hands of an esteemed source hunter. Surely you are more accustomed to weighing life and death than I. Tell me about the patients. What would you like to know? Tell me about Boris. One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead. A young man, but excellent in matters of business, before he fell victim to an orcish club in the north, that is. Thankfully for him, a cattle trader found him, nearly dead, but not quite so, and brought him here straight away. I'd like to know more about Stephen. Quite the venerable staple of Sicil, Stephen, and recently blessed with his third grandchild. He was leading a crew of builders when a stray beam struck him in the temple, and only a few days shy of his last day of work before retirement, no less. Nearly everyone in Sicil is familiar with grinning Stephen, and, as you can imagine, he's quite dear to his family. About your healing stone. Yes, a curious relic indeed. I got it from a kindly abbot, Loik by name, in the northern town of Silver Glen. He is of a certain faith, the Immaculates, they call themselves, that espouses the belief that certain stones can heal wounded flesh. I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. A small cut on my finger instantly healed, leaving no trace of the wound. Needless to say, I was astounded. But it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a useless, inert state. It takes time to regain its magical properties, and I guard it cautiously. I'm ready to make a decision. You are? Ah, oh, I thank you a million times for your help. Who have you decided should receive the healing stone? Ah, Boris's life has just begun. We can't cut his shot now. He should receive the stone. There's no way Boris should receive that stone over Stephen. Think of Stephen's wife, his children, his grandchildren. And Bor uh, Stephen's an old man. He's lived a long life, a full life. Long, sorry, a long, full life. Boris should have that same chance. Imagine the joy on his wife's face, his children's faces when Stephen returns to them. Isn't that a scene you'd like to see? Damn it, okay. I should get one more point every win, though, than her. Ah, yes, I like this system. Okay, this is, the problem is, though, I still need to win. So she used that, so I'm assuming she's going to go for... Nope. I'm assuming she's going to use paper again. Okay, yeah. But now she's going to use rock because I used thing. Maybe not. All right, you win. All right, we'll do it your way. Stephen, it is. Yes, I'll deliver the stone. I'm glad we'll get to save one man, but my heart breaks for the other. No, Sank no, this is highly Oh, no, thank you. What is this? This lightning. Sorry. The fuck did you just do? What happened? Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow it's just flying into the stars. Well, that's not. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't know why I'm speaking in such a strange voice. Um. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It will consume us all. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here at the end of space and time? How very, very, 
very curious. Who are you? And how did you get here? How did, how, yeah, how did you get here? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Proper introductions. Zigzags the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. As for how I got here, well, for a historian appointed by the gods themselves, hopping to the end of time is as easy as one, two, three. How you got here, though, that's a rather more interesting question. On such a tiny and rapidly shrinking vestige of space and time, I wouldn't have expected to find a soul but my own shadow. Why is this place, as you say, shrinking? Ah, at last, a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. Time ought naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. Out of it, Surin. What exactly has happened here? So don't tell. I always say, so go, peer through yonder looking lens, and feast your soon-to-be-terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. You might be quite, quite mad. Then we'd better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. But first, we rob him. That's a dragon, I assume. You looked. You saw. Terrifying, isn't it? What's this? The portal. It's... It's... The portal has become active. Fantastic. Astounding. Onward we should go. The portal! It's quite sprung to life, just like the long, dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more. It cannot be coincidence. Can we first discuss what we just witnessed through your looking lens? Goodness me, how right you are. There's so much to take in, I'd nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen! Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes! The Chronicler of Time knows a pattern when he sees one. So what lies beyond this portal? Ah, though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. Through the portal, then? After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other 
And he's off. It seems the imp has spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. Good for him. I'm busy. I got stuff I want to look for because it looks like uh, you know these going these ways won't, uh, well, it doesn't stop me going with them. So I may as well go see what's up here. It looks like pl like portals and stuff, or places where Paul could be, like they were when you know. In the last little place we were. And then stairs to nothing. Or to nothing of interest, shall we say. Or at least nothing of interest at the moment. As good as the new penny. Aha, drunk failed to get me. I still minus one in still minus one into my intelligence though. Well I'm a rogue, I don't need to be overly intelligent. But again, I am interested in what's up here. Again, it looks like the you know, it's just scroll. It looks like the exact same in active portals. So I'm trust me when I say I'm very interested in. Uh, oh damn it! Drunk actually got, happened this time. So bottle mines minus one speed. Yeah. The only reason I'm I'm only eating these to find out what they do. Yeah, so these minus speed, which is, you know, quite amusing. So my speed's now sucked up because, you know, of all the, all the food I just ate. I don't know what speed... What does the speed attribute do? Ah. So, yeah, we need to... Can I, can I knock them off? No, I can't. I'm just gonna wait here while they uh, knock off because I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally get into a fight and then have to deal with those. Could it be, milady, the weaver of time, mother of history, author of all that has ever been? Indeed, sir. M. As surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? It was a stone. A strange stone that zapped us from where we stood in Rivalon to this place among the stars. A stone? It was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is yeah. that so? Yes, that's what happened. Have you seen it before? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Source Hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. 
Why and how, I cannot say. But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. What is this star stone exactly? What does it come from? The star stone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Yes, though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the void will consume us all. We are, the, we are source hunters of Rivalon. We have a mission that doesn't involve chasing down magical stones. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the void's insatiable hunger. For a reason I do not yet understand, you and you alone can unlock the powers within the Starstone. But we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. Why, of course! That's what they were doing! I have recorded their doings, you see, collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day! Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. That shall never be. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the void. Please, our most mysterious guest, are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? Not but a moment ago, we were hunting Source in Rivalon, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? Give me, Source Hunter, um. do tell! Yeah, say so Zizax and the Weaver will. I need more evidence before I bury into this wire tail. Spot on! Praise be that we, at least, are still capable of rational thinking. We seem to be the only ones in the insane asylum at the end of bloody time. What it be, Source Hunt? The glint in your gaze and the set of your brow suggest to me that you've not given up on our dear old Rivalon. Not just yet. No, with you searching out Starstone, I believe we'll mend the tapestry in no time. We'll find out just who you are, and how exactly to send the Void back to wherever it came from. But you'll need a way to travel between Rivalon and this homestead, won't you? Who wouldn't want to see what fantastic changes your search will yield? And who knows what the Weaver might discover about you? Luckily, the power of portals is known to you, so I'll let you in on the little secret of how to transport back and forth from the end of time. But just, you know, don't go sharing it around. Never know who we can trust these days. Off you go, then. You've Starstone to find, and I've a tapestry to examine. Surely there must be some clue here as to how on earth you're related to the end of time. The Weaver of Time said our finding star stones helps her weave the tapestry once more. How is that possible? Cross my heart, hope to fade in the void, I honestly don't know. But ask her. If she claims it is so, perhaps she knows why. Like the imp said to the ballista operator, shoot! If I'm, a sp if I'm supposed to uh, search for star stone, it would be handy to know where to start looking. Wouldn't it just? Would that I had a Starstone sightseeing guide, but alas, such a booklet does not exist. 
Just like yourselves, Starstones are curiously absent from history, both in my writings and on the tapestry of time. From what I can gather, though, they were once cherished by devious sorcerers whose reign ended long ago. The stones are therefore most likely to be found in the ancient places of this world. Ruins, caves, the lairs of long-forgotten evils. Those are the dens you should frequent. Two more pieces of advice. Don't go unarmed and consult with my agent. I still don't understand how the Star Stone and the Void Dragon are related. Neither do I, but the mere fact Starstone has set the Weaver of Time weaving again more than implies that it and the Void Dragon are natural enemies. This in turn more than implies that you are the Void's natural enemy, for it is you who is setting new events in motion. You who is handing the Weaver new threads. And that which she is weaving is more than an ornament to decorate the shelter plane. It is both history and future history. It is all of time. We may not understand the how yet, but our aim is clear. We shall save creation from the grip of the void. Now, isn't that a lovely mission? You say you're the imp historian, but you seem to be more than a mere imp and more than a mere historian. Oh, I don't know if I'm more than those things per se, but having been given a divine mission does have its perks. Old age can't touch me, that's one. Immortality is mine, as long as no one skewers me with a sword. And even then, I'll be back in a jiffy. But of course, I have a price to pay for something that is priceless. It is my duty to record all of history, and an arduous task that is. Not to mention how much stress that void out there is causing me. The end of time. I'll be out of a job. So, gather those star stones so that we may know the history that was lost. No, so that we must not repeat what leads us to this dangerous precipice, but do better and close the dark eye of the void forever. Don't you find it somewhat lonesome being the sole chronicler of time? Lonesome, observing the frontier of creation, surfing the vibrant tide of the eons, always approaching yet never reaching shore. Lonesome being privy to all that has been and all that is. Well, yes, actually. I don't mean to complain, but one certainly doesn't mind a bit of company now and then. Perhaps you can imagine the profound pleasure it is to have made the weaver's acquaintance after all these years. I can hardly wait to pick her brain about the great battle of the sons of Sigurd. The last Rivalonian who remembers it died more than 7,000 years ago. I'll take my leave Before then. Before you go, Source Hunter, a final word. Once you return to Rivalon, there will be someone waiting for you. My agent, my eyes and ears upon your world. I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can. Time, I need hardly remind you, is of the essence. How welcome you are upon this realm, our most honored guest. I hope you begin to find this place more familiar than it may yet seem. Ah, oh, please tell me about yourself, madam. In the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men? of beasts and spectral apparitions, the drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you 
There are more questions I have for you. Ask, and I shall answer. If I can. Who are you, really? I am the Weaver of Time, as I have told you. Though my existence is one that falls behind and yet far exceeds the verb to be. I am but what I am, and that is task. It is the same for the historian. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Perhaps we are one and the same. Task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I do not know. Why have they done so? I do not know. Am I the beginning? And am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. Why is Starstone so important? Why does Rex me and uh, uh, me and my colleague alone? Alas, the answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry. As yet, a hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutability, though. For the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. I believe that star stones will not lead you to new places of wonder only. No. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. Uh, no, this may sound silly, but aren't you lonely out here? <laughs> oh, Hunter. I have no need for company. Like I have no need for air or appetite or affection. All I need and all I am is time and time is running out unless you remedy its decline and yet i do enjoy your companionship for you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul so if i'm understand if i understand correctly i am not featured at all i'm not at all featured on the canvas of time quite so your absence it should be an impossibility but no matter where i look you cannot be found I do not know you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection. A blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Perchance the blemish may be undone. And time can be redeemed. So how can I redeem time, it's, it, it, time if, as you say, I'm not even part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time. Because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. Know that no longer I did weave. I sat here, at the end of time, and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. But suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give Starstone energy, it seems that you are creating time. These Starstones, please seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. I've heard this place called the End of Time. Is that what it is? No more, no less? What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that is what the Star Stones will tell us. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. I reside in another realm altogether. But ever since the end of time appeared in these deep dark skies, I materialized here, as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable. A thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. I'll take my leave. Ooh, lootable stuff. Good. Damn it. Ah. Do you know more about the void? What it is? What lies at the heart of it? 
What lies at its heart? Why? Nothing, of course. The great absence of all that even the gods cannot call. Okay, so I can't open that. Silver, I'll take that. Ah, there's not much here at all, is there? Let's get back to Rivalon then. Source Hunters, I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to no harm. I know the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzags, let us turn to the business at hand. Starstone. Actually, a business at hand is the murder of Councillor Jay. So it is, and so it should continue to be. For I suspect his foul murder and the plight of dying time are somehow interconnected. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief star stones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. It can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Councillor Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. How did you find out Jake was a Starstone collector? While you were being lectured by our friend the Historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. The advantage of being a cat, you know. You go where you please with impunity. And sometimes the lady of the house even rewards you with a slice of fresh herring. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers, but specks of star stones nonetheless. They lay there, silent and innocent. Though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. So why is it so particularly nice for us to found shelter somewhere? Don't we all long for a sanctuary where our worldly troubles can be held at bay? A bed or a basket so snug it becomes, in a word, safety. But perhaps I speak only for myself, not for veterans such as yourselves that by necessity call any patch of ground they rest upon home. Like any cat worth its salt though, I deeply cherish a secret refuge unbeknownst to anyone. To be able to repose without a care is such a precious circumstance. Save it all too seldomly. I wonder, do you put absolute credence in the words of Zizaks? Time, void, the looming end? Let me phrase it like zigzags might. A universe without time is like a pen without ink. A pointless instrument stripped of the potential of creation. It is void. It is death. It is nothing. I'll not pretend to have all the answers, all that I understand, all that is happening here and out there among the stars, but I do know I'd rather err on the side of caution. If Zigzags worries, I worry. We are talking about a creature, after all, that has reclined among the divines as nonchalantly as you and I lays beside the hearts of home. How did you become Zigzax's agent? I met him first, a long time ago, out in the wastes of Uthal Gore. He wondered aloud what on earth a cat was doing out there in the scorching desert, then shared what little food and water he had with him. So I told him who I was and showed him my human form. He laughed and marveled and told me stories about his travels. In the end, he even shared his great sorrow with me. The unspeakable thing you saw through his looking lens. I was awed and frightened, but swore to help him in any way I could. As of now, that includes helping the two of you. I'll take my leave oh, then. Before you go, here, take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. You'll need the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but... Alas, I seem to have 
misplaced it. Don't worry, though. Use this one here, and it'll take you straight to its twin. Now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting, too. So if you spot a white cat during your travels, do stop to say hello. I guess I can. Which is you to teleport to a pyramid. These pyramids are linked to each other and they come in pairs. Open your inventory and use the pyramid to teleport to its pair. My gods! What is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? <laughs> this is a curious mix-up. It required the story to tell tomorrow. Oh, just Charm of Seven. You've got to be taking the piss. So, she's going to use rock. Nope. Oh, this ain't good for me. I am so buggered. Yeah, I'm buggered. <laughs> Little mix-up indeed. I don't know what you and that horrible little imp are planning, but leave my bathroom out of it. You need to appear to teleport to the other pyramid. Give them to your party member or drop them on the ground or locations oh, you want to remain turn into instantly. If you Throw please. them around or trapped by This doors. room is private. Lucky find! Danka. Well, I'm gonna... Uh, just gonna don't just stand there go i'm leaving fucking hell <laughs> jesus christ such a mongy bitch all right let's loot this and then we'll uh i'm trying to figure out where we are we are so we yes yeah, so we came around there so we were in here i'm gonna go back to the clinic quickly and see if there's anything we can uh any conversations we can, you know, have before I end the stream tonight. First things first, though, we should probably loot these. Maybe not. Thank you. Thank you eternally for your help. Though your reaction to the healing stone... I have no idea what to make of it. About your healing stone. That strange reaction you caused. Blue lightning from a healing stone. I've never seen anything like it. And the stone looks different now, too. Like it's devoid of life. I... I begin to wonder if its magical properties survived your little reaction. Well, either way, it's mine now. To what do I owe the repeated ple oh, wait To what do I owe the repeated pleasure, Source Hunter? Yeah, not oh, interesting talking about to you. Well, guys, I'm gonna end this stream here. I actually played for a lot longer than I was intending to tonight, so I hope you guys who did come out and watched it live had a good time. You guys are the reason, obviously, why I do streaming because you know it's fun. See you guys uh, and talk to you guys and stuff like that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, do follow me on Twitch, do follow me on YouTube, and do follow me on Discord. And other than that, I'll see you tomorrow.